So Denise, I get asked this question a thousand times. What is closing costs? And I heard that uh, a seller's supposed to pay for it, or a buyer's supposed to pay for it, and they don't understand. So first of all, what is closing costs, first of all? And then the second question will be is, if you're a buyer, what should they expect? So what is closing costs, first of all? Uh, closing costs, those are any fees or um, prorated costs associated with closing the transaction with buying the home. Okay, great. So if I'm a buyer, what should I expect to uh, pay? Uh, what fee should I expect if I'm a buyer? Uh, buyers can customarily expect to pay for one half of the escrow fee, okay. the lender's title policy, um, any loan fees that are charged from their lender or from their loan officer. Okay. Um, they should be expect to see prorated county taxes okay. and homeowner's dues if there are any on the property. Um, any recording charges, uh, their homeowner's insurance premium, they'll have to pay one year at closing. Okay. Um, home warranty, if, if there's one asked for in the purchase and sale agreement, any inspection fees and interim interest on the new loan. Okay, and typically, let's just use a, 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 a sales price of 200 grand. Typically, what's the rule of thumb in what closing cost is on like roughly on a 200,000 house? Do you know roughly? What do you think it is? I mean, 4% roughly? Three, three to four percent somewhere in there. Three percent for that. Sure. So pretty much everything you just read off, if it's a two hundred thousand dollar house, it's roughly three to four percent of a sales price on, a on that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else that you want to tell a viewer on closing costs or to a buyer about closing costs that they should know about? No. Okay. All right. So uh, let's end that right there. So let's just let's just end it before I ask that question. Yes. Mm -hmm.